So I will start recording the meeting. Just in case, if you miss any point or any note in this lecture, so you can go back and check it. And I will do that for every uh, lecture, class lecture. So we have right now 38 students. Let me wait like five minutes until the, the student comes. So welcome back to Spring 2021. Uh, yeah, I will I will post the recording lecture in the black in the black box. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Just another one. So we are forty right now. For more students. Okay, so let me start by talking about the syllables. I will share, I can by blackboard. So let me share my screen for the syllables. Everyone see the screen? You say yes, if you see it. Okay, so as we see, Math 190, College Algebra and Tree Geometry, we teach for Spring 2021 every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 o'clock to 7.40. So my name is Rassan Youssef. You can call me Mr. Professor, wherever you want. You can call me by last name Youssef or by my first name, Kassan. Uh, so the office hours would be like by appointment on Zoom by this link. So just you email me by this email, gausef99 at gmail.com, and we will do appointment meeting in Zoom. So for the textbook, it's Algebra and Trigeometry fourth edition for this author. Okay, and this is the cover page for the first uh, for the book here. Okay. And we'll fight it's in the math department. So this is my website. Maybe I will post like any like anything there. For the material we'll, we'll cover the semester. It is like easy and will be smooth. So we'll cover, cover B1, B2 in, in the model and real numbers, B3 and B4, and B5. You will see it here in this link. Let's click and go over this link. You will see all the sections talking about. So let me show you this section talking about. We go over there. Starting sharing screen. 
So real numbers, exponential and radical, algebraic expression, rational expressions, and all the stuff we will study it during this semester. Okay, so let me go back again to the syllable. So the grid factors. So during this semester, we have three test exams. Each of them are 10%. So the total for the three are 30%. And we have also WebAssign, it's the homework and the quizzes by using the WebAssign. So the WebAssign, I will talk about later. So the homework for the WebAssign, it's like weekly homework. Every section we finish, will post, I will post uh, like the, I will post uh, the homework for the section. And it will have like only one week to solve the homework for each homework. So the homework in WebAssign will be have three percent, but the quizzes in the WebAssign have twenty seven percent. So you should do the homework because all the quizzes are similar to the homework. So you must do the homework even if it has three percent. Okay. So even if it has three percent, that means it's not nothing because you have to do it because the quizzes are similar exactly to the homework. Okay. Uh, so the quizzes and in the web assign, it will be during the class lecture. I will give you like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Everyone will open the web assign and starting doing the quizzes, quiz. We have like around 13 or 14 quiz, all of them in web assign. And I will drop the lowest grade for all your quizzes. So I will check what is the lowest grade for the quizzes and I will drop it. Okay. For the final exam, we have 40% final exam. It's cumulative. Means of that will cover everything during all lectures, 40%. Okay. So any questions so far? I have a question. Hello? I have a question. I can't hear it. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. I don't know if you answered this already, but okay. how many tries do we have on the quizzes? Hold on. No, just one try, I think. So you just can solve one? it. You have just one try. You solve it. Yeah, you solve the, the, the question and you submit it. Mm. You can. It can be two. Okay. Is the book online or we have ordered the book online? I think the book is in the web assign. So when you pay it for the web assign, they will give you the free. Uh, ebook. No, you don't have to rent it or you don't have to buy a hard cover. Just you can when you in the web assign you have, you have ebook. So when you purchase purchase for web assign, uh, you would get ebook free. But let me talk about continue talking about web assign. Okay. Yes, and I will talk about this. The attendance is mandatory. I will talk about this. 
So far, um, do you have question. any question about what I thought? Yes. Um, so my question is based on the test, right? Um, do you not test, can we go back to previous questions or we can just have to do that one question and we'll move forward? I think, yes, I think, I think, yes, you can go back to previous questions in what the final, but the final exam, I think they, you cannot because the, world, the final exam is not from me. But in web assignment, I think you can go back to the brief of the question and change it before you submit it. I answered your question. Did I answer your question? Yes, you did, thank you. Okay, let me go. Okay, so here, uh, the, uh, uh, all of them, the total for the three tests is 30%. And Wilson and homework, 30%, 3% for the homework. It's weekly homework. I will post it after the lecture class. And the quizzes is 27%. You should do the homework. You must do the homework because the quizzes is similar to the homework. So if you do with the homework in the quizzes, you will get full mark. Okay, go back to the final exam. It's 40% is cumulative for all the material. Now, the exam dates. Hi, everyone hear me? Good? Is the sound is good? Hi, Professor. I think your connection is bad because you keep breaking up and I can barely hear you. Uh, oh, okay. So I, I can see, but you keep from my I will check the connection. Okay. I have the same problem from my end. I can barely hear the audio and video oh, keeps okay. uh, disappearing as well. Okay. What about the sound? Is good? Do you hear me, everyone? Uh, intermittently. Uh, Okay, give me like two minutes. I will check the connection.
How is the sound right now? Is good? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. The sound is a little bit better, but I still can hear other participants as if they were sitting next to me. Uh, yours is a little bit worse off, but uh, I think good enough. So it's good right now, right? Yeah, it's better now. Okay, okay. So let me go back to the syllabus again. Uh, here. So again, uh, first exam will be in the uh, first of March, second one is first of April, and third one is first of May. So uh, I will uh, let you know which date exactly in first of May, March, and April and May later during the uh, lecture class. And the final exam to in the end of the semester. So again, so let me go now to the world of science. The important thing is how you can register in World of Science. So you go to the www.worldofscience.net there. You can click there and go over it. Let me share my screen too. Okay, share World of Science. Okay, so now you go to the Google Find. Yes, Google Find .net. So I'm Google Find here. You go to the Find in here, Login first. So you click to the Login. Then when you go to the Login, if you don't have an email, you have to create account by using any email you want. But it's better to use a CUNY first email. Okay. It's better to use a CUNY first email to create the account. Why? Because I will give you code for when you buy this, like the material, they give you discount. So it's better to create account by using the city mail account, city mail account. Okay. So, so when you create your account, you go to the, let me continue by sharing that. You go to the, by creating the account, you go to this link. You see this link here, the second one, or the first one. You can go over the second link. So you go to the second link or to this link. Let me share the screen again. So when you go back to the link, here, enter class key. You click here, enter class key. Then after you, after you are signing in and everything is fine, they will show you a bar here. You put the code. The code is, let me, the code is, this is the code for the web sign. CCNY 72975533. So after you click there, you will see my name and you see the class just to click to register to the class. Everything is fine? Yes, Professor. Yes. So anyone has a question so far? Is it possible, could you log in and like show us how you, like how the whole entire form will look for us? Like when we created the whole account and stuff. What is that? Is it possible? Could you log in and like show us the whole entire format, the format of how it would look like when we log in? Uh, I can't log in because I have account as instructor. So they will not show me anything. But like when you do that, when you're following the instruction, the information in the uh, syllable sheet, it's like so easy. You will not get any trouble. 
And if you have any question, you can email me. I can help you by email. Hi, Professor. I have a question about the quizzes and exams. Um, can you go back over again? Did you say the quizzes are going to be on, in homework on web assign? Is everything yeah, going to be done the, on web assign? Yes, so all the homework will be done in the web assign. And I give you for each homework one week to do it. And every single lecture, I will post like every single uh, lecture, I will post a uh, web assign homework. And you can do it during one week. You have to do one week to do it. Um, the I'm quizzes? sorry. Oh, well. yes. um, I have a question. Can you show me the class key again, please? Like I'm doing the thing I'm signing up right now. Can you like okay. put it on the screen? Thank you so much. Okay. So again, the web assign. You go to the web assign.net. You click there. Is WebAssign something that we got to pay for or is it free? Yes. So the first two weeks for the WebAssign will be free. Then they will ask, then the WebAssign will lock out and they told you you have to pay for the WebAssign. I will teach you how to do the, how you can get discount for the account. So let me again show you how we can go over the WebAssign. Let me share the screen again. There you go. So again, you go to the webassign.net. Okay. Then first things you go to the login here. After you go to the login, you create account by using the city mail account. Okay. Then after you create your account, you go back again to the sign in and you log in. Okay, so after you log in and everything is fine, you go back to the webassign.net and enter class key. You see the enter class key? You click there. Then you they will give you like bar like this exactly. And they told you what's the class key. You go over the syllabus here. Here is the syllabus. And you put this class key. And you will see my name and Math 190. So bring 2021 ST2 section. Any question? Thank you. How many questions bear homework? We have like around 10 questions, sometimes nine, sometimes eight, and both of them are easy, close to the not we will do it during the lecture not will not be hard if you are attending the class will be good i don't know who is sharing the whatsapp account i don't know what's that so any questions so far Uh, how, no. many, how many questions? When, oh. uh, hold on one second. Okay. So when you when you join to the to the class key, you have to write down TCNY 72975533. Don't forget TCNY. Yeah. What's your question? Hi, Professor. Yeah, I just wanted to follow up with someone asked how many questions were on the homework. I was wondering how many questions would, would there be on the quiz and on the test? The quiz, like around four or five quizzes. 
three, four quizzes, and it is close to the homework we were assigned. It's not from outside. It's close to the homework we assigned. The same idea in the homework we assigned, just the numbers change. Thank you. If, you, if you're doing the web assign homework, the quizzes will be so easy. I'm sorry, I, I have, have a question. question. Do we have to yes. pay every month like $40? No, no. Just you pay it in the first time and that's it. Okay, and then I cancel. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. You, you, you have to pay just first time only. That's it. And I got to pay for the textbook? No, the textbook I think will be free with that. When 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 you bid, I think they will get like there is an option ebook. You can see the ebook for free. I think this Thank is you. what I know. Yeah. I have a question. Yes. Um. So you said that the questions that are going to be on the homework are going to be the same ones on the quiz, right? Yes, is it close to that? Is it is it close? Like I mean, the same idea, but the numbers are changed. You understand? Like everything okay. is the same. Yeah. All right. Can someone send the ebook link? I don't know who can send you. Just you can like contact your classmate if they have it. I don't know. Honestly, I can like I don't have. I have the hard cover for the book. What is this number seven? Who, Denise seven five seven C two. I don't know what is that. Can you explain what's that? And another student here three four seven. People send phone numbers for a WhatsApp group chat. Ah uh, okay. But but okay, don't use it for for like quizzes or stuff like that. You can't open like the WhatsApp during the quizzes or the test. It's just to remind each other when we have work to and stuff. Okay. So let me go back again to the syllabus. So everyone gets the idea how to do the web assign account. Here, here's the, like, if you stuck, you can read it again and check. Uh, okay, now how, how you can purchase discount web assign access code. So to like in general, the web assign, if you wanna like bid for the web assign, you will be like more than $100. But CCNY, they give you code to get discount and you'll be only $40 for the web sign. So how you can be? So after like two weeks of the free web sign, they will ask, they will lock you out and they will ask you to pay for the web sign. So you go to this website here, this link. Okay, to this link. And when you click into this link, they will show you a page like that. So you scroll down to here, buy from $40. Everyone see that? Do you need the book to take the quizzes and homework and stuff? Uh, if you are like taking my notes, during the classroom, it's enough. You will not, you will not need the book. Okay, if just you're taking my class notes during the lecture, it will be fine and enough. So the access code remains valid even if you need to take math 190 multiple times. This is the first note. Second thing, quizzes and exam question will be similar to the assignment homework questions. Okay. So now the exam policy. Any question for whoop sign before we go into the exam policy? Let me check the chat. Anyone has a question? Uh, yes, Professor. So right now we make an account 
and then for two weeks, if I understood correctly, it's free, and then it's gonna log us out, and then we go to the the other link yes. that you provided and buy it. No, so when you log you out, so you have yes, exactly. You go to the other link and you buy it for forty dollars. Okay. But okay. I prefer I prefer like after one week, after you see yourself in the class, if you like the class and you don't want to drop the class, buy the link. This is what I recommend every student in the class. Don't pay right now for the forty dollars. After like one week, after you see yourself in the class and you like the class, you go over the link and you buy it for forty dollars. Don't stay until two weeks until lock you out. Any questions so far? Um, hey, I got another question. I'm sorry. When I'm yeah. entering the uh, CCNY key link, it's not allowing, it's telling me it's invalid. Invalid, did you, have you taken this course before? No. Uh, they tell you invalid. Uh, yeah. Okay, can you check another email? Oh, and I'll check using, yeah, email. Yeah, check another email and use this link and check if you can tell taking the discount $40. If you did not, I will give you email and you can call or email the web sign and they can help you for that. To get that discount for the dollars. Yeah. Anyone has questions so far? Okay, so I think it's, everything is fine. So let me go to the example policy. Uh, so, books and notes will not be allowed during exams. So it cannot open your book or your notes during the exams, okay? Cheating not allowed. Photo ID will be required at all exams. Maybe like I will ask anyone of you to open the camera and show me only the ID for you to make sure you are the real student taking the exam, okay? Cheating means cheating not allowed. Third one, there are no makeup exams unless there is any medical or any family emergency supported by valid documents. No makeup exam unless this condition. So if you, if you lose your first exam, you will not get any makeup. If you lose your second exam, you will not get any makeup. You will get zero in the, in the, in the exam. So be sure you're taking the exam, okay? So important date, February 18 is the last day to drop without W. March 27th to April 4th, school is closed, spring races. At May 10th, it will be Thursday, our last class for the semester. Any questions so far? Anyone has a question? You can type it in the chat or you can over the mic. Hi, Professor. I, are we allowed to use a calculator um, on quizzes, exams, and all the assignments? Uh, no, you cannot. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Any questions so far? Professor, May 10th, I believe, is a Monday. What is that? For our uh, last... May 10th. Yeah. No, May 10th is the Thursday. 13, May 13th is Monday. So our class is Thursday, is our last class for us for Math 190. But for the school, we'll finish 13, May 13th, Monday. Mm. Okay, my calendar says May 13 is a Thursday. May 13 is Monday. Okay. Let me make sure. It is 
May 13th is uh, Thursday, something wrong, hold on. Let me check. So, okay, so I will change for this. Thank you. Who's that? What's your name? Uh, Michelle Romero. Oh, Michelle. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I will I will uh, I will change this one. To this. So thirteen May is the last class. Thank you. No problem. So yeah, now attendant, you must attend every online lecture for Math One Ninety. So it's mandatory. You must, and I will take attendance. So, but when you log into the Zoom, make sure your like name is clear, like your first name and last name. Okay, make sure your first name and last name is clear in the Zoom. Last thing, Zoom link. We will use the only this link during all semester. They join during this meeting, and that's it. So, any questions about? Are you birthday? Okay, happy birthday. May 10 is your birthday. Ooh. You're welcome. So anyone has a question about the Lord? Professor, do you give any extra credit or anything uh, like that? So, okay, so about extra credit. If you're doing the homework, the homework has 3%, right? If you, have, if I check like you're not doing good in the first test and second test and you're doing all the homework, and you you're doing good at the homework, yeah, it will be good for you. You will be fine for you for for the grade for this class. So I know it has three person in the homework, but but it means a lot. Like if you're doing each homework, it will be good for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? It's fine, okay. So let me go now, to, if there's no questions, let me go now to the first lecture is B1. We talk about model. Okay. Professor, I have a question. Yes. Um, do you give extra credit or no? Extra credit? Let me talk about this later, not in this class. Go again? Not today. Let me talk about extra credit later after taking the first test and second test. Not okay. right now. I don't like to give extra credit, but maybe. Maybe I will give if the first test and second test are not good. But maybe, yeah, uh, I do it last semester for my class uh, 195. All the students, they fail in the class. I mean, like, not fail, fail, like, they get bad grades. So I push the grades up a little bit. So I'm not, I'm, I'm good. Oh, too. so you curve the grades, like at the yeah. end? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go back oh, to the class. So, let me starting for the first class is talk about model. Any questions so far, everything's fine? So model. B no the colors. 
to that like. B1 is talk about modeling, modeling called about modeling the real world with algebra. Uh, real. with L. Super. Okay, well, what does that mean? Modeling the real world with algebra. This is mean, this mean in algebra, like in math, I mean, in algebra or in math, we can we can use letters. We can use letters. We can use letters. Uh, to send for numbers, for numbers. So instead of like numbers, we can use letters. How, what does that mean? Let number for numbers for describing, for describing something something in our real in our real world this is what the mean of model modeling the real world with algebra so i can like using instead of numbers in our life like letters m n f what does that mean i mean for that for example let me take example. So for example, uh, let, let N, capital N, if I have capital N, stand for the number of hours you work. Stand for, for the number, the number. of hours you work. So the number of hours you work, for example, is N, okay? And let, let W, I will like see letter N, and I like uh, make it as number of hours you work, W, I will make it as stand for the number of hourly wages. So I can get from both N and M, something in you is called B. B equal N times W. What is B? B is the formula is a formula. A formula describe for B. Suppose you're working in the grocery or you're working in like any like supermarket and like you're working for like $2 every one hour, okay? Like for 
hour, you're working like five dollars or ten dollars, and and you work per week like around thirty hours. So uh, you can get your payment by this formula. You multiply every each the money, the amount of the money times times you multiply by the uh, hour wages, like for how many hours you work per per week. And this is good. So you can like now using the letter to know how much you make per like per week or per per per, uh, per year or whatever. Okay. So I can using the letter to change it, change the number by letters by B and W. So now this Professor, B, yes. Is it possible? Could you zoom out a little bit, please? What is that? What's happened? Could you zoom out a little bit, please? How? Thank you. It's good now. It works, right? It's good. Yes, we can see everything now. It's not cutting off. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. So I change instead of numbers, letters. This is a good thing. So, okay, what is B called? B, this B here, this is called the model. This is the model. I can find a formula, describe what's happening in the life. And this is what's called the model. This is the, input, the general idea for model. So, uh, or I can call it, as algebra model, algebra model. I can describe the life by letter. Any questions so far for this uh, page before I go to the next one? I give you two minutes for any question. Okay, let me go to the next page. So right now, B. Right now, I can. So. So B equals N. W, this is the model. Model, or it's called algebraic model. Example for that, I give you an example, give you the idea, what does that mean? Suppose I make $10, Make $10, make $10 an hour. I 
and I work like for example 35 hours every week weekly so the question is how much do I get paid how much I get do do I get paid do I get paid So how much I can get paid? If I get like $10 for each hour and I wanna work like 35 hours per week, how much do I get paid for this? So, yeah. 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 350. How much? $350. Exactly. I get 350. How I think about that? So I know the formula is B equal N times W. So N is the numbers for hours. I know the number of hours. No, I mean like, uh, so here the N is the number for hours I wanna work is the three, five, 35 hours. And W for each hour is $10. So I just do multiplication. So B equal, 35 times 10 equals 350. So $350 I can make weekly. Yes. Another question. I can use this model again in different things. For example, I have like I know I get paid for each hour, like for example, $8. And I wanna buy a book and the book is cost me like, for example, for example, $1,000, okay? Suppose the book cost me $1,000. I wanna think how many hours I wanna work during this week to make the money, I can like get the money to pay for this book. So I can think, for this model in different way. So the question is, I will give you the question. So again, the model is, is B equal N times W. So my question, for example, I make a dollar an hour. and hour. Suppose I make $8 per hour, okay? And my question is how many hours do, do I, need, I need? So, Do I need uh, to get to work oh, to work to get paid one thousand dollars? So how can I think for this question? Suppose I wanna buy something and I need like, to get this something is $1,000 and I get paid for each hour $8 only. So what I have to do, how many hours I have to work to get this money? So, I mean, you substitute P, $1,000 for P and equal yes. to um, number of hours. Equal what? So, um, what's it called? Well, N is going to be the same, and W is going to be eight. No, so again, 
million. What is B? P thousand. Is thousand dollars exactly. And what is M? I'm looking for. N is the one known. Yep. It's unknown. W yeah. how much? Are it? It's eight dollars. Yeah. So now I substitute everything inside this formula. So let me check it. Do it. So B, B equal M times W. And this is equal. Uh, B is given $1,000. This is equal. N, it's unknown. Make it N. Keep it N. Times W. W is 8. So I'm looking for N. This N. So what I have to do, divide both sides by, by $8. By 8. So this is cancelled. So N equal 1,000 divided by 8. And you get the answer. So this is mean the answer, for example, 1,000 divided by 8 is 2. 125. 125. 125. So I need 125 hours to work bare week to get this amount to buy the book or to buy the car or to buy anything I want. Is it clear this question? Any question? Professor, can you go back to the previous slide, please? The previous one. Okay. Here's the biggest one. It's good. Yes, it's good. Thank you. Go back to the this page. So B equal M times W. This is my algebraic model. Now I can use this formula or this algebraic model to solve the question. Yes, here. You raise your hand. Do you have a question? I don't know if I pronounced your name right. Gali, last name. Or Gil, or. Do you have a question? Okay, let's go to the another example. So right now, yeah. so right now I can so this is good. This means the model. So the model, yep. the model, is look like a process. What does that mean? So if I, this is my real, real life or real world. I work in the box. And suppose this is my model. So from here to here, I have make a model. I mean, like if you're making model, I can use the formula or make a formula. Like B equal, for example, for example, B equal N, N times W. This is a formula. This is a model. My real life, I change it to the model. And after I get the answer in the model, I go back again to my real life. This is using here model. I mean, like going back to the, my real life, I get the answer or I know how like how much I need to buy the car, how many hours to get the car, understand? Any question? 
Okay, let me give another example. If there is, is one it question. possible, Professor? Yes. Is it possible? Can you go over that, please? It was a little bit confusing. This one, okay. So in our life, our real life, or our, our real world, we using, we change this life to the model. For example, like previous example here, I ask myself how many hours I need to work per week to get the thousand the thousand dollars. So I change my life to model. What does that mean? I change my life, my real life, as this a formula. And this formula that after I like substitute all what I have, they give me the answer. So this answer, I go back to my real life, to real life. After like I get the result from the model and then I go back to my real life. I use this hours in my real life. Here I use 125 hours in my real life to get the thousand dollars. This is what I mean for this page. I hope it makes sense. Okay, now let me give you another example for the same things, for the same topic. Example. So Mike, for example, makes nine dollars an hour. At the at his part time job. And the question is that you the model. I they give me the model already. B equal N times W the capital W. To answer the following question. So the first question is question number one. So Mike, for example, he worked 35 hours. The question is, how much did he get paid? So the question number two, let me all first solving the first question, then we go back to the question number two. So who can help me for this question? How much Mike he can work, how, how much Mike he can make for 35 hours working per week? Three hundred fifteen exactly. So you're using, I, I'm sure you're using the same idea, B equal M times W then you substitute the numbers inside this formula. So I get P equal nine times 35. And they give me $315 per week. So again, N is 35, W is $9. Then you substitute both of these inside this formula. Give me this one. Now the question number two is Mike 
want to earn you know you know money to buy to buy a car or to buy for example small things book you want to buy a book uh, this book cost one hundred twenty six dollars so the question is how many hours does he need to work so again by using the same formula here using this formula yes 14 so how are you thinking about this by again substitute during this formula so i have b yeah what is b what is b here in this formula what is b 126 P is 126. Let me change the color subject. So again, B is 126. And what is N? And the question asked me about the N here. This is unknown. I don't know how much. I want to check it. Last thing they asked, they told me that the W from here, see here, this is W, it's nine dollars. So again, I plug all these inside the formula here, and they give me an. Okay, let me do it. So any question before I move to the next slide? Okay, let me go to the next slide. So again, so B equal N times W. So again, 126 equal N, I don't know how much N, times nine. So I divide by nine for both sides. So it's give me N equal so I need he need to work 14 hours. He need to work 14 hours to get the bid for 126 to buy the book. Okay. Is it clear? Everything is fine until now. So let me go to another another model. We go to another model. Okay. So here we have another model. It's called elevation temperature model. Both all the models are the same idea. Nothing new. Nothing different. Elevation, elevation, I mean, I, I thought, no, elevation, elevation, temperature, model. Okay. 
elevation temperature model. So what does that model talk about? It's like the mountain tremor. Use this model. Mountain using this the formula for this model is T equal 20 minus 10 H so what is T this T is the temperature and what is H? H is the elevation or the high. So in general, we know when you go up, like in mountains, we know the temperature go down. And when you go, when we in the ground, the temperature will be up high. So again, the temperature here by Celsius, by Celsius, and the elevation here by kilometer. So this is the given formula for mountain similar using this model. This model. So I give you a question for this one example. Can I go to the next slide? Okay. So I'll give you an example, easy example. Example. Suppose I have, uh, so first things I have the formula, like before I said, T equals 20 minus 10 H. H is the elevation, and this is the temperature. So the, the question is complete. Uh, the table for changing in elevation. So suppose I have the elevation like this. Elevation is the high, it's H. And here's the temperature. By Celsius, it's T. Here is by using kilometer. Here is by using temperature by Celsius. So suppose I have zero elevation. I have one, I have two, I have uh, three, and I have five. Or I use four. So I keep on one. So when the elevation is zero, what is the temperature? So what do you have to do? is 20, why? So you plug the zero inside this formula. H here is zero. That means 20 minus 10 times zero. 10 times zero is zero. The, the, the answer is 20. So 20, exactly. 20 minus 10 times zero, exactly. 20 minus 10 times zero. And this is equal to 20 minus zero and this is equal to 20. 
for the second one, when the elevation is one, what is the answer? Again, I plug the one inside this formula, this model. So what they give me? They give me 20 minus 10 times one, and this is equal 20 minus 10 times one is one, is 10. So 20 minus 10, and this is equal 10, exactly 10. Same thing is for two. Again, the same thing. What is 10? 10 Celsius. What is 20? 20 Celsius. Temperature is 20 at, at zero. Zero kilometer, that means he does not raise up the ground. He's still in the ground. So he's 20 Celsius in the ground. At elevation one, that means at high is one kilometer in the mountain. The temperature is 10 Celsius. See the temperature goes down because when you go up, temperature goes down. So at two kilometers up, what is the temperature there? 20 minus 10 times two. And this is give me 20 minus 20 and this is equal zero Celsius. This is mean at two kilometer up in the mountain, the temperature is zero Celsius. Again, at three kilometer up in the mountain, what is the temperature? Minus 10 exactly. Again, 20 minus 10 times three, and this is equal 20 minus 30, and this is equal minus 10. Minus 10, nice. Minus 10 Celsius again. And so at four, what is the answer? The same idea times four is equal 20 minus 40, and this is equal minus 20 Celsius, exactly. So look into the elevation and look to the temperature. When, again, when the kilometer is increasing, the temperature goes down. Look, 20, 10, zero, minus 10, minus 20, goes up, it goes down. When you go up, Temperature go down. Okay, another question, the question number two for this formula. Can you go to the next slide? Any question for this question for for question number one? Question number one for this formula. Okay, let's go to the question number two for this formula. Here, question number two for this formula. So again, T equal 20 minus 10 H. So the question is, if the temperature is five Celsius, they give me the temperature is five Celsius. The question is, what is the elevation? So what is the height for when the temperature is five Celsius? How we can think for this model? Again, we have five Celsius inside this model. The question uh, is talking about what is the elevation? Mean, what is S? One point five. Can you explain how you think about this question? Who will donate to explain this question? <laughs> yes. Um. So, 
Yeah. You substitute T um, um five for T. So I substitute T by five. 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 Then yeah. equal. Uh -huh. Then ten over right. H. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then what do you do then? Divide both sides by what's up a negative ten. I'm tripping. No. Oh, divide both so sides by ten. Okay. Also first thing, nah. first things we have to subtract. This is important thing. We subtract, make everything like, yeah, during last classes, a lot of people they doing the same thing. So again, so when you see something like that, first thing you make the number with the variable clear means nothing behind this thing, okay? Nothing behind this thing. We keep it alone in one side. So how we can keep it alone? We subtract 20 from both sides. Okay. So what's the answer? Minus 15 equal minus 10 H. So now this is alone, see? Now we divide it by minus 10 for both sides. So dividing by minus 10, dividing by minus 10. So the answer is H equal 15 over 10, and this is equal 1.5 watt kilometer. So at raise up 1.5 kilometer, the temperature is five Celsius. Is it clear? Any questions so far? Yeah. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, so my question is, do you want us, like all in these problems, right? Do you want us to leave it as a fraction or you want it as a decimal? Yeah, keep it as the fraction or you keep it as this, whatever, I don't care. Like if you keep it like this, it's okay. And if you keep it like that, it's, it's fine too. Okay. Any question, Amanda? Okay, let me go. Yes, hello? Yeah. Um, I have a question. Yes. Uh, when will the lectures be posted? I think I will post it today. I will send you a link. Okay. For the lecture. Yeah. Sorry, Maybe today or tomorrow. Her. Yeah, today or tomorrow, maybe. More like tomorrow morning. Okay, thank you so okay. much. No problem. So the last example for today, last example for today, this example, it's similar to the model. So the example is, said, so if suppose I have a car rental, Rental agency. Okay. Uh, they rent a car. Suppose they rent, they rent a compact car for thirty dollars a day. And also they charge for the mileage and also 20 cents for each mile, each mile. I know it's expensive, but in New York it's not expensive. Here in New York is more than 200, it's like 
Thank you. Okay, we'll go back to the example. So suppose they charge like $30, per day and 20 cents for each mile. So the question is, this is your hull, you know your hull? You will do the same thing. They charge $20 per day and plus mileage. So the same thing for the, this car rental. They rent a car for $30 and plus 20 cents for each mile. So the question is now, how much, how much does it, does it cost to rent a car, for example, for five days? If the car is driven for 340 miles. So suppose I wanna rent this car for five days only, and I wanna drive for this car 340 miles. So how much I have to pay for this car in the agency? So first thing, before I start this solving this question, I have to check, I have to say to myself, how, what is the model for this? So I have to build or I have to create a model that's work with this question. So how I can think for this thing? So first, before I doing the first example, rental cost equal cost per day plus, plus mile. This is true, 100% true. Good idea. So how you think about that? So first thing I have to change everything here, like I said in the beginning of this class, to letters, okay? So suppose the cost I wanna denote by C as the cost, the cost for this car. So I denote C as the cost of this car, okay? Exactly, 30 D plus 20, okay, I will do, oh. so second thing, here I wanna denote by D, D is the date, day, how many days, and the M by mileage, by mile. So now I can solve this question. So I can think about this question as, look, car rental agency, they rent a company, a compact car for thirty day thirty dollars a day. That's me thirty times a day. Thirty times D. And twenty cents for each mile. That's me twenty cents. But because here is we have a cent and we have here thirty dollar dollar, we have to change the cent to dollar. That means I have to divide twenty by hundred to make it a dollar. Okay. This is also very important. So C, the cost of the car equal $30, 30 times D, times the D plus, plus what? 20 cents for each mile. That means I have to change the cents to dollar, 20 divided by 100, this is in dollars. So 20 cents, this means 20 over 100, this is make it as a dollar, times what? Times N. So I get the model formula. Then by using this formula, I can solve this question number one. Any question about this model so far? How I made that formula? Is it clear? Okay. So now I can solve the question. C equal 30 times the day. I have five days plus here. This is the day. I have only three or five days in the question. 
plus 20 over 100 times m. What is m? I have 340 mileage from here. So what is C equal 30 times 5, 150 plus 0 by 0, 0 by 0. Here I get a, a 60 and this will give me, what is the answer? The answer is 218. Clear, good, perfect. I hope this is fine. Is it clear? We have five minutes left. Let me do the second part of this question. Okay, second part of this question. Is it clear for everyone before I move to the second part? Yes. Okay. So now let's go to the second part. Second part of this the question said B uh, if the cost for five days printing system was if the five days was uh, for example two hundred forty four dollars the question is now how many miles was the car driven So in this question, by before I have the, mo the model for this question, T equal 30 times D plus uh, 0 0.2 times the mileage. And, okay. So now they give me five days here, five. And also they give me the second unknown is 244. The cost is 244. They ask me for the mileage here. Okay. So we substitute and we solve it. Let me solve it. Half minutes left. So 244 equals 30 times 5 plus 0 0.2 mileage. So again, we didn't subtract 150 because this is 150. Subtract 150. So we get uh, 50, 90, 94 equals 0.2 and this is So nine four because we have fraction here. So it will be four seventy. So M equal four seventy. Mileage mile. We end this question. Any questions so far? Everything is fine, clear? Yes, hello. Yes, Amanda. Oh, back one slide. Back one slide, okay. Yeah. All right, thank you.
that's it for today. Do we have homework? I hope this class is fine. Yeah, we have a, our both the homework for this section. Would the homework be in a uh, web assign or blackboard? And like, what is that? Yeah. Will be will be by every time you upload a note uh, homework. I will post a homework every section we finish. So this section is finished. We finished today's the section. When will it be? One. When will it be due by? Yeah. Yeah. When I finish, when I finish each section, I will post the homework. So today I will post the homework for this section. And when is it due for next Thursday? I mean next week. It's due to one week. Okay. It's due one week. Okay. So until next Thursday. Yeah, uh, next next Tuesday. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Bye, Professor. Thank you so much for your class. You're welcome. Do you have I hope it was good class. Oh, first I was by appointment okay. uh, so far. And next like next week after like uh, I check the number for the student, I will give you the first hours. Like fix hours. Okay. okay. Cool, cool. All right, man. Take care. You're okay. You're have a good night. You too have a good night. Hey you, bro. Yeah, have a good night. Thank you, Professor Bye. You're welcome. Have a night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Have a night. Bye.